Inside this unassuming lab at the Bedford VA facility, Dr. Ann McKee and her team are looking for clues. They're examining hundreds of brain samples donated by patients diagnosed with PTSD. We've always made the assumption that these are brains that look normal microscopically, that don't have any damage or lesions. But they don't know for sure because no one's ever looked. This brain bank dedicated to the study of PTSD is the first of its kind. Technicians are looking for markers they've seen in other brain disorders, hoping to find better treatments. There are certain treatments that reduce inflammation, certain treatments that, that heal blood vessels. And if any of these structures are going haywire, then we can focus our treatment on those things. It will take time, but for those suffering now, there are therapies that can help. Gene Stein launched Guitars for Vets in 2013 at the Brockton VA, teaching veterans diagnosed with PTSD how to play and by playing to heal. You're not thinking about your problems. You're thinking about how do I play this E chord or how do I not have my pick hit the wrong string. That can be a huge release for a veteran. I mean, if, if it, it could be the difference between a good day and a bad day. And veterans like Will Hatley know about bad days. The Navy reservist was diagnosed with PTSD in 1991, the result of a childhood trauma, and he struggled with depression and drugs. I was homeless for a while. I would walk the streets and I would do things and I was living to get that next high. The diagnosis ultimately led him to treatment at the Bedford VA. Through artwork, he manages his symptoms and now works as a veteran peer specialist, counseling others struggling as he once did. This is something that I began to start instilling in myself that I am a masterpiece. I do have something to share with other people. All three of them looking towards a day when medicine may have the answers. Emily Reamer, WCBB, News Center 5.